Welcome to Spill the Tea. Today, we're talking to Cindy Ireland, a new romance author. Welcome to Spill the Tea, and today we're talking to Cindy Ireland, who is a romantic comedy writer and has a new release out called Romancing the Thief, which is a sweet romantic comedy. Hi, Cindy. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your book? I thank you first for having me on here. Oh, you're I mean, welcome. You do a great job of supporting other authors, especially beginning ones like me. And I really, really appreciate that. Well, so. we all start somewhere, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this is based on a dream that I had about a girl who is in love with a rich guy, but it turns out that her business is cleaning houses. And so his family hires her to clean their house for a big party that they're having. And at that party, the aunt's um, jewelry is all is stolen. Oh, and no. <laughs> so she was the last one in the library. Right. But it's not that simple. It can't be that simple. Well, otherwise it wouldn't be a romantic comedy, right? <laughs> right, right. So, well, exactly. And so there's some other suspects, some other shady kind of characters. And so we've got Colin who goes back and forth between, you know, I always fall for the wrong woman. It's always the person who's after my family's money. And, you know, I've done it again, of course, right? So then he decides that he is going to date her and get her to tell him what she did, where the jewels are, oh. where, where the jewelry is so that he can get it back for his aunt. So, and of goes, course, that's where things get muddy. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so what inspired you to uh, write romantic comedy? Um. I was a psychotherapist and a school psychologist for years, and that is a um, hard job sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so when I would get home, I like, I only want to watch something funny and read something funny. And you've got like all of your books up there that I can see above <laughs> you. I have all of those. I love. Oh, Janet. Janet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Janet I mean, Ivanovich, I'm definitely a fan, as you can yeah. see in the background. <laughs> totally. Um, so I, I just wanted to laugh and I thought about, you know, I could do that for other people because I love, love, love reading and mm -hmm. I really like writing. So I'm starting to love that now too. I'm really enjoying it. So you are a baby author. This is your first book. <laughs> Congratulations in joining the publishing world. Um, I really love your cover. Uh, what what inspired that? It's it definitely hits all the like rom com feels. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I did I did a, several covers, and I can tell you that my friends and family were like, "Can we stop voting?" <laughs> <laughs> Please just let us just just pick a cover. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was my favorite. I love because it's got the you know the necklace and the heart, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. did you did you make it yourself or do you have a cover designer? I did a uh, Fiverr. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Hired somebody through there. They, yeah. they definitely did a yeah. good job for you. I did. I won a silent auction when Maui had the fires. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So my second son is married um, to a woman who's family, who's Hawaiian. And so that really affected her family. Mm -hmm. so I did that. There was a romance authors for the Maui fire victims. Oh, nice. And that was one, one of the um, things that I won was a PR conversation. And so I showed her, of course, all of my amazing covers. And she's like, um, have you considered uh, hiring someone? Like not <laughs> looking at me, right? <laughs> she's like, because um, that might really help. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. 
well, we all do what we can, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so you are using a pen name for Cindy Ireland. Uh, tell us how you came across making that name and why you chose to. Uh, um, well, my name's Cindy Barton. And I was like, oh, cool. And pe the people in my writers group from Lyra in New Mexico were like, oh, that's the perfect pen name, right? For, a, you know, romance. Cindy mm -hmm. Barton. I'm like, oh, great. So I get my book all written. The cover's got Cindy Barton on it. And I go in. I don't, thank goodness. And there's a whole bunch of books by Cindy Barton. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> I wish I had. But so I checked my maiden name, which is Cindy Ireland, and got Cindy, used Cindy Ireland because there's nobody else that had that name. So it's mine. I claim it. <laughs> It's hard sometimes when you have a name that is is but like another author who's especially close to the genre that you want to write in. Right? Yeah. Right? It's like, I wish her luck, but... <laughs> 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 Fortunately, I have a very unique name, so I'm the, I'm the only oh, wow. living one of me so <laughs> that I know of. That's awesome. And for everybody watching, I don't know where I'm supposed to look, but for everybody watching... You are as wonderful, like live like this, as you are when I watch your podcasts. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's awesome. So is this book going to be like a standalone or is it part of a series? What What are your plans? It is part of a series. It's a stand. You can totally read it as a standalone. Um, but I've already started the next one, which is Romancing the X. And oh, cool. so- it's the McGuire brothers. And so this is another McGuire brother. Awesome. For the next so one. does he make an appearance in this book? The McGuire yes. brother? Oh, so we get, a, we get a little snapshot of him. <laughs> we get a snapshot because Colin discovers, you know, it's hard to be James Bond all by yourself. <laughs> so he enlists the help of his brother. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And how long did it take you to write this book? Um, just a little while. Just <laughs> years, years and years. Like, like literally like 10 years. Wow, that long. I, I do find, though, that first books, because you're just starting, you're dipping your toes into the water, it, it does, it like, it's a steep learning curve, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> definitely a steep learning curve. And so it it takes a lot longer. Like, um, the first book I wrote for my Ramsley Brothers series, I started it in 2015. I got halfway through. I hated my female character. Put it aside. <laughs> Oh, I did. I hated her. I was like, you are the oh stuck, up, stuck up lady I have ever met. And I put her aside. And I went, okay, I'm not going to finish this. I went on to doing other things. Came back in 2018, reread it and went, this is as bad as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love terrible. That. No. <laughs> No, it just wasn't the right time yet. It you wasn't had... the right time for her. And, you know, I rewrote some stuff in it and I changed it a little bit. And she came out a much more sympathetic character afterward. Okay. <laughs> and it's and it's funny because that's book two of the series. I started on book two. I didn't realize, but that's how I started it. Oh, so and maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. It just wasn't time, right? But yeah. when you, when you start off, and that was my first foray into the romance romance world but okay. but when you're starting out like I said you're you're learning as you go you're learning how to do your writing you're learning all your all your little ups and downs of trying to get a schedule to do this you're oh learning my. how to market what covers are like and it's the research hole itself is a time sucker <laughs> right <laughs> All the decisions you have to make so many decisions. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now, yeah. did you have a lot of support for writing your first book with with like writers groups and writing friends and stuff like that? Um, I did actually. And I'm sorry. 
but it's allergy season where I'm at. <laughs> That's um, okay. I did. My family has been wonderful through the whole thing, but um, I had a friend. I actually um, worked with her and she writes um, middle age, mm -hmm. uh, mid school age books. And she was like, you should join a writer, the writer's group in New Mexico. And I did. There's a um, New Mexico land of enchantment. It's land of enchantment romance writers. Oh, nice. So they are awesome. This great, great group of people. And when I didn't know what to do next, I would send out an email and then I'd get an email back. Try this, try that. Um, when I was looking for editors, things like mm -hmm. that invaluable if you are starting anybody out there if you're starting join a writer's group yeah you def definitely helps to get the advice of people who've been there before you for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a huge difference but yeah between raising we have five sons but so mm -hmm. between raising sons and working it took me a while to write this book <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So are, do you feel like you're going to stay in the romantic comedy lane at this point? Or are you thinking of maybe branching out into something else? Bunny, you should ask that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm doing the second one in the series, right? And mm -hmm. then my favorite is mystery. I mean, like, I love rom-com and I really wanted to write rom-com and I will continue doing that. But I love uh, cozy mysteries that are funny, right? With romance. How can there's, you not love that? There's right? definitely a market for that. <laughs> yes, please. Um, <laughs> I love doing cozy mysteries too. So that's, uh, yeah. yeah, I have a camping girl series. I'm working on number four, um, Santa Slade. So it's a Santa <gasps> one. <laughs> I, okay. I have <laughs> that out there someplace because i swear i've heard about that about yeah. the one you're working on well Have maybe that okay oh i i don't think i i've said anything on youtube but i have said it to my uh my uh like facebook and to to my newsletter group a newsletter oh you're in my newsletter oh sweet I think, <laughs> I think it, either that or, i i i've heard that someplace yeah very cool. Yeah, so that's coming July. And that that was a series that I had originally intended to do just three. And then okay. people keep coming back and going, Where where's the fourth one? When is the fourth one coming? Oh. And so now I'm like, okay, I I I really feel like I can keep continuing in that world. And so let's do a fourth for fun. Let's make it a holiday one and then go back into the monthly, you know, what she's doing on her campground. But yeah, that's awesome. yeah, it's, it's really nice when you, when you get that fan mail, right. You know, people saying positive things. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So was... when was your book released? Um, In January. In January of this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're starting to get some traction, hopefully as I a name know. out there and, and people starting to see it. <laughs> And for anybody who's interested in having a look, we're going to have um, the links and the description in, sorry, in the description so that you can go find your book and also see your website. Now, do you have a newsletter started? I do. I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's it started. <laughs> so I so join and be patient for, for new release updates. <laughs> right. right. Because. I got it. I got my first newsletter written. I was all proud of myself. And mm -hmm. then, because everybody says, have stuff that's happening in your life, right? Yeah. So I'm good. I'm good. And then one of our sons came up um, to visit and he brought his dogs and he went up in the forest behind us. We live up in the mountains. Oh, cool. And he got his truck stuck up there, found a brand new spring. He went off with his dogs, came back, and half of his truck was like this. It oh, was no. like it, you like eroded underneath. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the spring dear. just his truck just sunk half of it. Oh. 
So he has this great picture. It's like, I want to put that in my newsletter. <laughs> but I can't figure out how to make it fit with the story and what I already had. And so I think I have to start over. But yeah. So he was stuck up here for like three days. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so um, for your book, are you on Amazon only? Are you wide? What have you chosen to do? Amazon only because that was all my brain could <laughs> okay I could do this and sometimes it is easier for a newer author just to stick with Amazon start there and then you only have one place to upload right yes yeah I only yeah. have to I only have to pay attention and do <laughs> and are you in Kindle Unlimited for your readers yes I am I am. I've had a lot of luck there, which has been really nice. Yeah. And and that too, I think helps for new authors because people who have the subscription can take a chance on reading a new author without having to, you know, spend a lot of money. Right. So right. yeah, right. that really does help. It's really nice. It is for sure. Um, now maybe in the future you might have plans to go wide or something like that, but you know, that's, that's a future talk, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I know that that would be good to do because I know that there's a lot of people that that really works best for, mm -hmm. but it's like the learning curve was so, so steep. So I'll tack, I will tackle that. I promise. I, I keep debating that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, should I, shouldn't I? I don't know. I have So right now I'm, I'm still in Kindle, but I, I just don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I think this year is going to be too busy to make that decision, maybe next year. And right. that's, it takes a lot of time to figure all that out and to get it working because it's a whole different path. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. Um, do you have like any advice for new authors getting started in, in the business since you are a new author? I love that. I love that. <laughs> Um, I do actually, because it's what helped me mm -hmm. and I actually, in one of your podcasts saw this from, so you asked if they had any advice, they weren't a new author, but, um, and I, I've seen this in some other places, but it's don't give up, just yeah. keep, keep doing it because you have that story in your heart. And somebody out there will enjoy it and they will read it and they will love it. And so just because there are those days that it's like, For maybe sure. I become a, I don't know, a Walmart greeter. I can <laughs> do that. I know I can do that. <laughs> well, you always take the easy way out. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> right. uh. okay. So did you find like this being your first book, um, like, did you have a lot of um, decision making regarding your characters? Did they fight you on stuff? Was it easier? Like, how how did your writing flow go? Um, well, Colin was easy. And I think it's because I've raised five sons. Like. I got this. I <laughs> making bad decisions. I've got this. <laughs> no, they make good decisions too. Just for my clients. It's a balance. <laughs> yeah, it's a balance. <laughs> it's always exciting and interesting. Let's 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 put it there. Um Rachel, Rachel was the one that thought it was mm. like I thought she was going to be the easy one, right? The girl. Yeah. I, oh, heck no. Nope, not happening. Had to go back and rewrite a bunch of, yeah, she was, she was kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, um, um, you know, what writing background do you have is, like, have you written any short stories or anything else before this book? Or was this just your first foray into the to the writing world? Nothing since I was little. When I was little, I would write little 
little stories, but. So it's just, it's just been waiting. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like to think that at least. Yeah. The, the little talent waiting to, to come out. <laughs> awesome. Um, so your next book, um, do you have like a timeline when you're going to release it or you, you're still working? It's going to the editor next month. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so if it goes well, it would be August. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> If it goes well. <laughs> if it goes well. Okay. Wish me luck on that one. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping for August at the latest. Well, August realistically. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. I tend to be an optimist. <laughs> so I should just say August at the earliest. <laughs> well, you're ahead of me. I'm I'm still finishing <laughs> number four of the camping girl, and I have a July first release date. <laughs> oh, I love it. You can do it. You uh, can do it. I, I'm the sweetest procrastinator. And then at the end, I will whip it out for some reason. But <laughs> That's what works for you. It, yeah. Everybody's a bit different, right? So yeah. um, with your writing, are you a plotter or a pantser? Ah, I was a pantser on the first one. Mm. And I know there are tons of pantsers out there and bless your pantsing hearts. But that really cost me like a lot of time, a lot of mm. rewrite. And of course, you know, it was my first book. So I'm sure that was why my pantsing did not go as well. Um, so now I am plotted. I am, I'm a plotter. I've got, I've got a Excel spreadsheet down to chapter 20. And that's what it is. It's going to be about the same length, about 50,000 mm -hmm. words, you know? And um, so, yeah, that's, that's nice. I, that's my jam now. Cause now I know I don't have any holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, the, if it works out, if the characters stay on target, <laughs> what is with those guys? <laughs> well, they, they want it their way. Imaginary people want it their way. <laughs> and they're so stubborn. Have you noticed? Totally stubborn. I have had to rewrite so many scenes. <laughs> I, oh, number 11 of my 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 uh, Ramsley series, my romance series. I have the opening scene written and I'm like, nope, we're getting rid of it. <laughs> it it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, but, you know, maybe it'll show up parts of it later on throughout the book. But for now, it's going to get shoved to the side and just be like, nope, this this didn't work. This is not where, where they're supposed to start. And, you know, they've been fighting me the whole way. And he's such a nice character. And he's like, I don't really think we should be doing this. And I'm like, but but Henry, this is this is how we open. And he's like, no, no, not really. And he's like, I don't mind doing this, but this is not how it works. Oh, no. And I speak like he's a totally real person. Right. He's not. I love it. Do you find yeah. that your people do that to you? Yes. <laughs> Maybe if you sit down, have a cup of tea with him. Now we need to discuss this. Yeah, we need to discuss this. You know, what what's really happening in your world? <laughs> right. <laughs> Because I feel that's what we do. We just we just are writing about their world, and we're just the people who put it on paper, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and and thankfully, other people enjoy reading it. Yeah, <laughs> they like their world. <laughs> Did you have anything else that you wanted to share with us? Uh, no, just that this has been fun. Thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate. I really oh, def definitely was a lot of fun absolutely <laughs> and you know i have a kindle unlimited subscription so i'll have to download your book and give it a read <laughs> thank you i appreciate yeah. that <laughs> all right well thank you so much for coming on cindy it was awesome and uh you know maybe when your next book is out you can give me a shout and we can have you again talk about it I would and then love we can go it. from there thank you 
I really appreciate it. All right, well. And I'm waiting for the Santa sleigh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you later. And uh, thank you for coming on. Thanks. Thanks, Jimmy.